Tuesday the 22nd of May 2012, let's take a quick look at the gold markets using the weekly and the uh, daily time frame and finish it off with a little bit of uh, on probability odds. Let's get started. I've talked a lot about this uh, chart and the Fibonacci levels from this high and this low, so I'm not going to talk too much in depth. But since this uh, support level has given in, the price action within the last three candles, you've seen a down move, and now we're seeing like sideways consolidation after it already previously obviously went down. Now we're looking for two areas to be resistance, one the previous support level, and maybe again this one in here, but obviously the first one is roughly at around 1620, which is a monstrous level on the daily time frame. Also, you can still make a case that you got this little downtrend. I don't like it when the lines are that big, and it does that quite often. You got this little trend line. You got this. So it's just, again, showing a lot of the indecision. You can say the same thing within the moving average, where you go below it, you find resistance. You go below it, you're above it, you're within it, you're now below it. A lot of indecision, and it's going to stay indecisive until it either takes out the slow or takes out the high. So it's... As long as it's in the range, it's neutral to say the least. Now when you do break below this, if of course it does manage to break below, the next significant level is roughly around 1400 to 1415, which is an area once at previous resistance. It's also a significant Fibonacci retracement level on the longer term time frames as uh, it could very easily not find support because it's now broken below this uh, 18 average and when you're well below it like it is that's a bear market trend analysis states don't be surprised if you have a continuation of the trend which is down move this on now to the daily chart and within this you had the major 1620 level that was support on multiple occasions more often support is tested more likely it is taken out this is where it was taken out it has yet to have found any level of resistance at least as of yet it still can the bottom area since this bottom in here well we find resistance right in at this uh, downward 18 period average for this to go sideways it can the market price action has to stay sideways for a few periods anyway for this to move into a sideways trend. For there to be a bullish break uh, or any type of bullish confirmation or signals that you're looking for, the first test at least has to go sideways, but it has to go higher. And you need to find some sort of setup that it's uh, not going to have some sort of fake move, sort of like you see this because it didn't break above the resistance field back in February. Although, quite frankly, it was already an upward trend at this point because this was in an upward trend already. So that doesn't uh, make too much sense. Anyway, let's change the Fibonacci retracement up a bit. because We have this high and the lows of uh, 1523. So now let's change the lows to the 1528. The 1523 lows were at the end of 2011, by the way. So let's go from this low to this high because that's the last break high that we had. And what we are seeing is that the lines have now changed from here and here. Therefore, there really wasn't any resistance on the first significant level. So now, what this is telling me is possibly one of three things. One, that instead of resistance, it just might be support. It's already pierced below that level, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be support. This could also be a failed break it. The fact that it got a little bit above it and if that's the case you want to be cautious for a fast move to the downside and then of course the uh, the third situation which is just uh, I've lost uh, my train of thought so the first one of course is that it uh, is uh, it's resistance yeah it's a pierce above on resistance and then it just does whatever but normally when you see a situation like this it takes a little bit of time for this thing to uh, really settle down and get ready to get going. And of course, if it doesn't, that means you're going to have a monstrous big uh, candle and all the technical indicators are going to adjust within it. The third significant Fibonacci retracement battle will be from this low and this high. 
and I'm not going to put the numbers up, but just blindly looking, the 61.8% retracement is roughly around 1550. Therefore, if a breakdown comes below this type of area, then this tells us again that this is a failed move, or at least if it can confirm that it's going to break below it, this would be a failed move. And then again, you'd have a test of this previous low that will most likely would be taken out. An example, of course, when a, a move fails, let's say, for example, this high to this low. Well, it really need to hold here, but it didn't do that. Say from this high to this low, it's pretty much in around here. Okay, so it held, and yeah, it pierced below it, but it didn't necessarily stay, and then you come up here, make this lower high, then you really test this level again, and boom, now it broke below it. And then notice how it just kept going lower. That's uh, normal market analysis. Now let's talk a little bit about probability odds and psychology. All right, so within this video, the question is, what's the over-under for how many views that I'm going to get? And from the YouTube count, I, I would guess 425. But this is what casinos do, and I'm not offering any action whatsoever. But we'll see how close I happen to be from uh, being correct within this. How about thumbs up? Uh, thumbs up ratio is usually around 11 or 12 to 2, so put the over in around 11 and a half, and thumbs down, well it's around 2 usually, so I'll keep the thumbs down over under at 2. And the first rating, will it be a thumbs up or thumbs down? And I got a favor that the first rating will be a thumbs down. Now this is why I'm making this at the end, because normally I get hit with the thumbs down usually about 55 percent of the time as a first rating and if it's not the first it's quite often the second or the third rating will be a thumbs down now logic would state if the average is say 12 to 2 that it should be like a 1 in 6 chance well it just happens that whoever is thumbsing it down early is quite frankly it's usually the same person now, psychology update, I already stated that the over-under would be 30, 11 and a half on the over-under, but because I'm talking about this, I'm probably going to get four more people that are going to give me a thumbs up or so, so I'd have to change the over-under. And maybe because I'm talking about this, there might be another higher chance I'll get more thumbs down. And this is a spelling mistake as if it matters. And thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.